Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to the Kapo 3R. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. Thanks, who is she? Yes, thank you for that. Yeah, I never imagined real adults would affirm the existence of the occult so easily. But this is coming from people who actually lived through the last time the cherry blossom was in bloom. That made it fairly convincing. And let's say the everlasting cherry blossom really does have some mysterious power. What does that make this message then? あ。というのが一番分かりやすい回答だと思いますけど。皆津もそう思う。メールが届いたタイミングを見ても桜の魔法の力を使って届けたのが間違いないだろう。へい。ようやく見たいなものでしょうか。いつか桜が咲いたら but how do they know that, you know, we were gonna have phones, you know, in this time period? Third time? But that's so strange. I talked about this with our newspaper club, but there were no messaging systems back in 1951. So the concept of sending a message by phone wouldn't have existed in the first place. Rika-san passionately described a similar system using magical culture, but I was too embarrassed to say so. Magic! Which is? Uh, multiverses? You mean parallel worlds which come up in novels and games? Well, that is actually true. It's, it's a string theory. Huh? Really? Couldn't help but look at Yuhi-san sitting next to me. はい。あの有名なシュレディンガーの猫の思考実験の問題に対して米国の物理学者キュエベレットが提唱した解釈です。日常的な韓国では受け入れがたい解釈ですので、当然反対派も多いですが。Wow, really? So, how does this many worlds interpretation affect this matter? Turn my gaze back toward the boss. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Right. When Tsuginami Senpai recommended this place to me, I chose to come here. But the possibility that I would have chosen not to come existed as well. The boss crossed her arms and turned her gaze upon me. Us from another world sent the message to ourselves? Using the mysterious power of the everlasting cherry blossom by wishing for this message to be delivered upon the everlasting cherry blossom. That would explain why the sender was unknown and there were no transmission records. It would also make sense as for why we only received that after the cher everlasting cherry blossom had bloomed. Does that mean the everlasting cherry blossom connects this world with other wor possible worlds? Worlds we normally can't observe. But for what purpose? In the end, that's what it came down to. Though the idea of the many worlds interpretation was exciting. 
Of course it is. I love it. I love string theory. I'll try discussing it with Rikisan and the others later. Yeah. Oh no, are you gonna send it to Shinami Senpai? Yuzu san said, hand me a business card. Yes, I will. Alright, I guess we're doing it. Not enough stuff to it. But what connections do you have to um Yuginami Senpai? Yes, now then, I think it's time I took my leave. I see. Okay. The two assistants said cheerfully. Is this agency really alright with such carefree assistance? Okay. Yes, the problem is their boss is the same. Yes, I will. Farewell. Bowed my head and let the Amakase detective agency. Detective Amakase. Keep me unlocked. Well, Siri, sleep. You know what? We gotta call Rika-san and tell her what's going on. Let's try calling Rika-san. I went up the address on my phone. Selected Rika. Hi, hi. Morizono Rika. Rika-san is not available. Ah, dang it! No, I want to actually talk to people. Dang it! Oh no! Well, I'm gonna. You guys will be. Happy. I'll be right back. All right. Hopefully, we can talk to someone this time. Mano. Hello. Okay. Well, it's a bit too late to head over there, isn't it? Oh. Well, back then I was a kid living on my own. Your mother was worried about me too and kept trying to get me to stay over. Ah. Three years ago? I think it's been about that long. Luni is here too now, and we can't just both sleep over, right? So I can't exactly leave Lil Luni alone either. If you'd like, maybe you could sleep over here next time? I don't mind it, but our rooms are built a bit smaller than at your place, so you might end up sleeping in the dining room. Wait, what? Well, if you're alright with that, then... Oh. Maybe before next weekend? Well, first we'll have to get Lulini's permission, though. Probably. I don't think she'd say no. Hmm. Wait, what? But you didn't you say it was late? You're doing your homework now? Yeah, focus on your homework as much as you need to. Yeah, later. Homework, huh? I guess I'll have Himeno show me hers tomorrow. Oh, wow. Forget it, forget it. Interesting. Looks like I still have some time. Maybe I should do something else? Hmm. Wait, what's this? Oh, quick save. Oh, I forgot about that quick save button. Hmm. Alright, let's call... Rukawa Sarah. Wait, I have a call and it's from Sarah. Then you refer to call me. Ooh. Hit the answer button on the phone. Yes? Yeah, what made you decide to call me? Uh, 
にしてたのかなって思って What? I'm, I'm in my bed. Not at all. I was just thinking about giving you a call, Sarah. So, this guy, you got that. So, the senpai was killed. None of them was done. A lot of things. Today, there was something bothering me, so I investigated it while wandering around all day. Yeah. Yeah, after hearing what Rika san said yesterday, I just couldn't get it off my mind. So, this guy, he told me to do something. I was. Yeah, well, essentially. Well, I had to talk to、uh, the unofficial newspaper guy. Are you free? Oh. Well, I didn't know. I see. I should have invited you. I'll call you next time. But I didn't know you were that enthusiastic about an investigation. Well, I guess anyone would be curious this time. It's full of mystery and magic, certainly draws interest. <sighs> hmm? Sarah? Yeah, I'm me? Hmm? Okay. Yeah, sure, alright. Okie dokie. Yeah, good night. Ah,、huh. interesting. I have a little time, but if I stay up too much longer, yeah, yeah, y'all will be a bit tired. Right, let's cross the morn. We haven't really talked to Aoi, huh? Guess I try calling Aoi chan. Open up the address book. You like the Aoi? Oh, it's Aoi chan. Yes, hello? Oh my gosh, she, she called me. Yeah, it's fine. You sound excited. Hot pies? Oh my gosh, a chicken pot festival. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't understand why you're excited, but sounds fun. I'll be right on over. Wait, were you working all day today, Aoi chan? Oh my gosh. I would too. You love pot pies that much? Oh my. Mmm, delicious. It's like me with ribs. I can eat ri a big sack of ribs and on the side be like little riblets or rib something. What are they called? Just ribs? I don't know. I, I see. I'm glad you got four of them. Your nose would have bled. Yeah, I can feel how excited you are. Huh? Oh, you're not home? Yeah, make sure not to trip. <laughs> wow, she hung up the phone really fast. Are we trying to say as interesting as ever? Now it's a good time to go to sleep and let's. So let's do so. I hope I have a nice dream. I laid down in the bed and closed my eyes. It wasn't long before sleep took me. As always. Ooh. We'll find out where we are now in this stream in the next episode of the Capo 3R. Hmm. Well, we learned a bit about the Amakase Detective Agency, and apparently, Aoi really likes pot pies. 
So anyways, we will find out what this is all about in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Cop with 3R, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!